The Dominican Republic isn't your average Caribbean island. It's a vibrant place, rich in culture and full of life. And although it may be known for its sandy beaches, the island is home to an array of landscapes, climates and natural wonders. This is an island full of surprises. The first is a site that is invisible to most travellers. Off the coast of Punta Cana sits one of the country's most unique museums, a museum full of history and life it can only be found over 20 feet underwater. Divers have the chance to explore a 17th century shipwreck as it sits within the Caribbean reef in this living museum of the sea. The museum was inaugurated in May of 2019 and since then visitors have explored rare coral, shells, turtles and fish while navigating around cannons, anchors and other artefacts from a historic shipwreck. The area is protected from commercial fishing and non-recreational diving. The restrictions preserve maritime heritage and help increase fish populations. The museum is just a short boat ride and scuba dive away from the coast. It's not only a recreational dive site, it also shows rich histories and flourishing biologies of the Dominican Republic. Our next spot is one of the largest protected areas in the country. Along the Dominican Republic's northeast coast is one of the country's crown jewels, Los Itesas National Park. Los Itesas, which translates to mountainous land, is home to lush rainforests, stunning mangroves, caves adorned with petroglyphs and hundreds of bird species. Los Itesas was established as a national park in 1976. It covers an area of over 618 square miles, so it's no wonder the park's rainforests were a filming location for Jurassic Park. From the 100-foot rock formation suddenly jutting out of the water to different caves and mangroves, the park is home to some incredibly diverse habitats. While Los Itesas is in a remote part of the island, many visitors make the journey to experience the beauty and variety of landscapes. Once inside, they can hike or kayak their way through the massive park. Next up is a canyon, sure to spark a bit of curiosity. Within the mountains and winding river system, just outside the town of Cabarete, is one of the country's most unique sites, the Magic Mushroom. A curiously shaped canyon, it's rounded at the top and thinning at the bottom, giving it the appearance of a mushroom cap. After a 45 minute drive from town to the canyon entrance, Visitors hike and swim through the jungle before reaching Magic Mushroom. Along the way, there are ample opportunities to cliff jump of some of the Caribbean's most spectacular waterfalls. Once visitors reach the Magic Mushroom, they can rappel down almost 200 feet into the freshwater streams. While hiking to Magic Mushroom, visitors will come across gorges, spectacular waterfalls and beautifully sculpted rock formations. We're still on the northern coast, but this time, we're high up. The province of Puerto Plata is home to one of the country's most iconic sites, Mount Isabel de Torres. Visitors have the option to hike their way up or take the Caribbean's first ever cable car to the top. The cable car was built in 1975 and brings visitors up over 2,600 feet above sea level to the highest point in Puerto Plata. Atop the mountain, there is a replica of the iconic Christ the Redeemer statue that was erected in 1970, and panoramic views of Puerto Plata's rolling green hills and the Atlantic Ocean. Beyond the sights from the top, there is a botanical garden at the peak, full of lush greenery and rare tropical flowers. Mount Isabel de Torres is the main attraction within the Isabel de Torres National Park. It is the most visited national park in all of the Dominican Republic. And last, we venture south to shake things up in a place that looks far different than the others. On the southern coast of the island, in the Las Calderas Peninsula, the Dominican Republic's landscape transforms into a stretch of desert-like fields known as the Dunes of Barney. The arid climate and topography contrast sharply from other regions in the country. The sand itself is very smooth due to the abundance of quartz and feldspar, 
and the area is full of endemic flora. The dunes stretch over nine miles, and the tallest dune is over 114 feet high. The dunes of Bani are the largest sand dunes in all of the Caribbean. In 1996, these dunes were declared a national monument. Visitors can walk through the dunes, or if they are adventurous enough, ride down on a sandboard. The landscape feeds directly into the ocean, as the dunes are located right next to Playa Salinas.